Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Panda here. I'm doing this on my iPhone, so please bear with me. But I want to talk about this quick release plate for the com from the company or the brand called Yu Zani. Whatever how you pronounce it, I'm sick of butchering the name. I do apologize to the brand for butchering the name. I normally am good with. Japanese and Chinese pronunciations, but that's a weird one. But um, yeah, I want to compare the two. I want to compare it so you guys have a better understanding why you should not buy this quick release adapter. Why you should not buy this. One, imagine if I had this on the Manfrotto 502H8 fluid head and I had this set up. It wouldn't be very practical for me to shoot with because I need something that is going to work, has functionalities as a quick release. Actually, it's a true quick release, not a pressure release. And this is what I call pressure quick release. Here's why. I have it in lock mode, as you can see, it's locked. So if I move it to the right, if I show you guys what the lock mode is, if I move it to the right, boom. Now I can press both buttons on both sides, release. But imagine if I had this on this particular uh, clamp for my L bracket. I have to release it like this, which you have to put pressure down and push up, off. To me, that is not practical because that hurts my hands quite a bit. So this is more easier, it snaps in. Not only that, if you move it to the right, and even if you press the button, I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm pressing both buttons, it won't come unlocked. That's what I called a true quick release. Not only that, it gives you the extra functionality and the feature to lock it in place. So I'm gonna unlock it again, press both buttons on both sides, release, easy. Lock it, boom. This is why this Yuan Z uh, quick release is more practical for everyday use. The Zayun or Zayi quick release is probably most likely for gimbals, but then again, it's still not practical because this hurts fingers. And I don't have sensitive fingers. I do have small hands and small fingers, but it does hurt over time when you have to put pressure considerably down all, all the time. With this, it's just, oh, the buttons, click, release, done. But... <clears throat> As I said before, this is a newer uh, clamped arc Swiss plate that I have for my L bracket, if you guys are curious, in this video. This is a Sun Wade Photo DPL07 L bracket. No one sponsored this video. I purchased this with my own money. Most, 99% of the products on my channel, it came out of my pocket. And even if it did come out of my pocket, it come from you guys, the Panda Nation. You guys help me create content like this. You contribute to the content. You contribute to the channel. You help me survive through these trouble times. And not even through these trouble times, but even before that, you guys contribute so much. So I did a lot of giveaways this year, and that's important. But as a photographer that does mostly most categories, Yes, I don't stick to one category, but this is my official review on this quick release plate from Yuan Zin. I think this outperforms better than the Zion quick release plate. This is more practical, more, works much better. Not only that, I love the fact that like this locks every single time and it's much easier and even when I press the button, it's locked in. Perfect. Love that. 
this is what a quick a quick release plate should be should have been designed like and honestly i'm not sponsored by the brand even though i'm tagging them on instagram and facebook i see some products that i do want to buy from the brand that actually looks promising so i want to really want to represent the brand now because this is by far or well not the only product by far from the brand that i do enjoy but mind you that i also brought the power bank for my mobile gopro setup which is module so this is a power bank it's a 6800 milliamp hour yep for my gopro setup also got these magnetic ND filters from Tessin. Nope, Tessin did not sponsor this video. So, yeah. Other than that, other than that, guys, I think as a landscape photographer, and let me back up a little bit for you, so you guys can see the setup here in full glory. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now, Keep in mind, guys, I didn't take out the, the tension spring, but I did calibrate it. I got the tension where I want it. This is the fluid drag system. This is the tension, okay? All I have to do is loosen this up, tilt. It won't tilt. Every single time when I do landscape photography, astrophotography, architectural photography, it won't tilt. I got it exactly where I want it. It took some time, but as you can see, it's not tilting forward because of that tension. And as a lens photographer, and you guys are probably saying, how do you shoot micro? Mind you, my micro lens has a arc Swiss uh, color. Therefore, I can use this and I can, I can adjust. But with that said, everyone, or I can buy a, another longer bracket for it and have more flexibility if you want to think it that way. But, I use Sony, I use Nikon, I use Canon, I use any camera, micro four thirds, doesn't matter what it is. As a photographer, I emphasize this. When you get better at what you do on the channel, at, on this platform, that's what you do spiritual, <clears throat> spiritual for yourself and for your photography, if you're sincere about it, you get what you want. And this is my dream setup, the carbon fiber, tri carbon fiber tripod that was not cheap, very expensive by the way. Uh, the fluid head is not cheap, as you guys are aware. Not cheap, very expensive. The setup here, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. And not only that, if you guys want to see, when I loosen this up, I can also shoot landscape easy. Boom. Done. Portraits or landscapes, whatever. Go back to portrait, horizontal. Boom. Done. That's how easy and practical that I want this to be. And yeah, and not only that, I got the, the flu head drag the way I want it. The tension on this is nice and smooth. And you guys are probably saying, how much is this all gonna cost me? Well, you're gonna spend about 250 bucks for the tripod, you're gonna spend 200 bucks for the fluid head, uh, you're gonna spend 30 bucks for the L bracket, it's gonna come with a bunch of accessories, like this accessory here. Th this is another accessory, if you guys wanna call it. This goes to your camera strap, which I prefer better than any, of, any other locking mechanism, locking mechanism for camera straps, but you push the butt inside, push it down, lock it into place, camera strap. So don't, when you get this tripod, I mean this L bracket from Sunway Photo, don't throw this away. But other than that, this is my setup guys, and uh, I want you guys to appreciate it. And you know, you guys are probably saying, that's a nice setup. It is. This is a newer clamp bracket. The reason why I brought this newer clamp bracket, there's a number of reasons why, guys. First and foremost, 
I don't want to block the lights. I want you guys to see the product. But if you can look, there's a bubble lever here. There's a bubble lever here and a bubble lever there. It's very crucial as a landscape photographer, astrophotographer, cityscape, architecture, gotta have bubble levels. I even have bubble levels on the L bracket. One here, one up here. And then the other one is, where is the other one? There's three in total here. One, two, three, right here. One's down here, but you can't see it. But yeah, this is it. This is what I would call my ultimate system for the next five years. And I will update you guys if I update the adapters or brackets, make it longer, so I have flexibility for micro photography, which I really am considering. Order a longer clamp adapter for micro photography because I do love my micro photography. But I feel like with this tripod, I don't need to get the micro rail system because the 150 irx lens that I have is more than I'm capable of handling the job and getting that focal distance. But um, yeah, it, it, it looks promising, but this is why originally the video is about this clamp, about this quick release plate. Guys, if you're using Zion, <coughs> Listen, I don't want to talk bad about the brand. They got some great products, but I did. I think this quick release replate was rushed to design. It wasn't thought through. Uh, this was thought through more than this. Take this with a grain of salt. I still recommend using this for your gimbals, for the Weeby S or Weeby models for those gimbals. Definitely recommend it. But if you're looking for something more practical that's going to quick easy fix onto your wibbly. I'm not sure if these could fit on it, but you can try it. Yeah, this kind of hurts my hands and that's the problem. And not only that, the rubber came off when I put this on my gimbal. If you guys remember that Instagram feed, the rubber came off. Then I brought another one and apparently that one broke. So I got my money back for it from Amazon, so I'm not really worried about it. But other than that, guys, just to view on the back here, just to see your portraits and your pictures makes a big difference. And listen, this is just the standard height for this tripod. Mind you, this is just the standard height for this tripod. This tripod can go taller. I have it on two legs now. Now I'm gonna extend the third legs. <laughs> so, there's another reason why I got this tripod. Not only because it's carbon fiber and in light, but not only that, it's taller than me. So I can get the shot that I want. And sometimes my tripod, the Manfrotto 190 Go, wasn't tall enough to get the shot that I want. It didn't have the, the height that I wanted. It got the shot, but it didn't have the height. This has the height. So if I want to get a shot, I'm like, oh, yes. And I can always pull down this LCD screen so I can see what I'm doing. And like, yes, and get the shot that I want. Now, if you guys are curious also about what I did to this tripod here with, with some uh, athletics tape. Now, there are several ways how to do this with athletics tape or graphics tape. I demonstrate that in a live stream when I unbox these items. But as I said, I'm gonna to go to quick review over this really quickly so you guys have a better understanding. As a self-torch photographer, I try to emphasize and try to compute what you have learned, what I have learned, and put it all in one box. And what I have learned from other photographers, yes, this came from other photographers. This is not my idea. And again, I'm gonna stress Hudson Henry. Guy is amazing. I think he's funny. I think he has class. I think he has the right stuff. And he's always thinking about, you know, I know most of his, his videos, high uses landscape photographers, photography gear and stuff like that. But, you know, once you spend the money for it and like you, and you realize what he's talking about, you would be like, damn, I'm never going back buying budget shit ever again. <laughs> 
but sometimes budget stuff works out and this newer clamp is budget so there you go and it's actually made pretty damn well but as you can see I have uh, athletics tape wrapped around uh, I started from the bottom and worked my way up and there's a reason why so you're gonna get this uh, this shingle effect if you do it going down which means like let's say it rains the water is going to drip right inside each uh, crest or liner. that's why you got to overlap so the water just drips all over now I definitely recommend doing this with graphics tape because graphics tape is also waterproof but this is what I recommend doing as you saw in the live stream of this video no, not this video, but my video on the unboxing of these items here. I put a leather tape first on, just as I put, as you see here, on the carbon fiber tripod first. Then put insulation pipe in. Yes, insulation pipe in. Yeah, Ugh. I like being under the. Something about me playing it underneath this is is so fun. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> insulation piping, if you guys know plumbing stuff, I put that on top and then two layers of this. So what I recommend doing is maybe one layer of athletics tape and one layer of graphics tape if you can afford it. But buy the graphics tape from Amazon and make sure it's a really good one. Because there's graphics tapes that have very sticky residue that will stick to the tripod that leave a really sticky mess. This uh, lettuce tape that I'm using doesn't have that residue stickiness. It sticks, but it doesn't won't stick to the tripod. So make sure you buy really good quality 3M. Get the good stuff. But you can buy it on Amazon for cheap. I got three rows for 13 bucks. I'll leave it down in the links below. But with that said, everyone, I'm going to downsize this again. And the best thing about this is like, it's so easy to like snap in and slide the legs out and get it to where you want it. It's so easy. The man photo, I had to like twist it a few times to get it to slide, twist it a few times to get it to lock. This one, twist one time, slide, twist one time, lock. This is why I love about uh, these Art Swissy or Leo Photo tripods. They made really good for the professional photographer in mind. And not only that, they work really well and they built really well. Not only that, let me show you something They're very special, guys. This is a non-click system. It's just smooth all the way. Look, I'm not... It's just smooth all the way. It's just like no noise. That's me hitting the bed, but... No noise when it comes down to, like, adjusting period and not only that it has the ball feature so if I want to replace the ball feature on this I can my photo does make a ball feature for this but if I wanted to let's say buy another fluid head with that ball feature yeah definitely but as you can see tension perfect it's level very nicely yeah I'm very satisfied with with my purchases and very satisfied with the outcome of this because uh, a lot of photographers don't give me credit for what the work I do and the work I do is you know some photographers make money off their photography I and I do too but it's mostly a struggle for me because some people are just skeptical because first thing they see and first thing they want to actually assume is you know I might look great in appearance but when it comes down to my dental People make assumptions, and I'm gonna be honest about that. I'm sick of it. And not only that, like, I just want people to realize, like, just look at my Instagram or my Facebook backstories. You see what happened to me in Japan. And people make bad assumptions. And sometimes I lose clients that way because they make bad assumptions. And this is how I lose money. This is how I don't make money because people make these very nasty assumptions about drug abuse. And the only drug that I have ever done was photography. And that is it. Uh, other than marijuana. <laughs> but that's another topic. But, you know, 
uh, yeah, and, and, and as a photographer, I just want to emphasize truth and honesty and fair experience and not trying to sugarcoat it, but when people subscribe to my channel, I try to give back as much as I can. I have tried to give as much as a last year of September, October of 2019, just giving away a lot of stuff because people have helped me all the way and people have gave me opportunities. So I figured I'd pay that in forward. And yeah, I could have sold my man for the 190 God tri tripod. And a lot of you guys were bitching about that. I could have used it. I could have used it. Hear me out. In July, Justin asked me for a tripod that he can borrow. At first, he asked me an tri extra tripod that he that I, I can give him. And I said, I don't have one, but I have something you can use. And I'm going to use a model pod. And that's when I realized that he would benefit from using the tripod. Because not only that he does painting like Rob Bob Ross, but he does other artwork that he can benefit from the tripod. He does a lot of VR, a lot of gaming, but also reads books on his tripod. He can benefit from that. He can multitask. He can paint and read a book at the same time like with two tripods or a, a, a paint stand and a tripod. He can read his books that way. So I think it's fair. I did the right thing and gave it to him without selling it. And I know you guys could have said, you could have sold it, you could have had your money back for the tripod. Yes, that's true. But it's not worth it. See, these are just things, right? They make you happy, they make you satisfied, they get your job done, and I know it's important. But if you are able to pay for it by giving something for free, and you know it, it can be a really good gesture in the heart and the soul, I'm not saying recommend doing it, but... If you know you can do it, if you know, keyword, if you know you can do it, do it. And that's what I felt. I know I can do it, do it. Because I gave away and I brought Jesse Few in from San Diego, another street photographer, a tripod. So, and uh, he asked me for it and I felt bad, so I brought him a tripod. So I brought him a, a zombie tripod, which you see on my Instagram. But go check that out. Uh, he's really happy about it. Now he's able to go out and do night photography, which I'm really, really happy and hoping to see from him because he's a good street photographer. Now we just got to get him to do night photography. And that's what we do on this channel. We try to push you guys, not past your limit, but to the point where you have to learn these things in order to understand them. But at the end of the result, you're happy. You'll be like, wow, I took that? Hey, Fortnite. <laughs> but you guys understand what I'm saying. You feel proud of yourself. You're good about yourself. And I think that's a great approach. But for me, only these items, they take... Guys, I had all these items before. New York. If you look back on my channel, I own a studio in New York. And I moved to New York from Paris. That was a bad decision. And my studio got robbed. All my lenses got stolen. I'm trying to I'm trying to get everything back, but I realized it's not worth it. Only get the things that I really, really, really need. That's important. So, and this is what I need: a tripod that is light, travelable, flexible, doesn't hurt my shoulders. Story man photo. I love the man. I love the 190 girl tripod. Oh my goodness, I love that tripod so much. The only thing I'm missing from this tripod is a flexible head, which extends. This is why I said I want to invest in a rail or a, a clamp system where I can have the flexibility to move the L bracket in any length at a certain distance. But as I said before, I've got my micro photography, I don't think I need it because I got the 150 micro lens so I can get close to my subject, I can back up from my subject and plus I'm using a art switch plate so therefore I can make adjustments so it works but with that said everyone I know I'm, I'm, sh I'm sorry that I'm not using a microphone but uh, <clears throat> I, I should have used a microphone but I figured I'd give you guys content from the camera and I do apologize for the audio but I just wanted to just to make this video before I start doing my other stuff because like you know I feel great that I want my court cases I gotta just deal with one last one and you know and so far it's looking great you know people are trying to make uh, my last employer is 
trying to make organizations of me doing unorthodox things, and that's all they can go on, but they don't have any evidence, ladies and gentlemen. If you have seen the Porchlight videos, you understand. But they're losing. They're not looking happy. They're not happy because all my evidence points to foul play on their behalf, not my behalf. So, with that said, everyone, um, yeah, this is why I don't want to work for the ADCs anymore. I just want to do my photography and just have to be happy and just do what I do best. And maybe meet a girl, meet, meet that girl one day that is passionate about maybe becoming a YouTuber or want to get into photography and we can collaborate. I can help her with her channel. We can grow together because I'm, I'm looking for that partner. I'm being honest with you. I'm looking for that partner. I'm very selective and very picky because I need to right, make right choices in my life. And I'm 40. Yes. Some people think I'm more, younger than 40, but I'm 40. I turned 40 August 10th this year. So happy lady birthday to me. But it's that time that you get remarried and have a life and, and enjoy these things and teach maybe my new children uh, and my newborns. Daddy, it's all about this. <laughs> yeah, this breadwinner, this makes happy. This makes mental health better. I study mental health, I practice mental health, I have colleagues in the field, and they will also tell you that photography does help in mental health circumstances, especially if you're under stress, you go out, take a photo of something beautiful, it keeps your mind busy and off what you originally was thinking about. But it depends on the person, so you gotta actually work with the person for some time, and then after the, working with that person for some time, then that person go out on their own and do it themselves. And so they can have self-encouragement to do it for themselves. So, and this is why I, I, I miss working in the medical field and working as a, you know, in the field of psychology education, but you know, it's a very competitive field too. And take it from my ex-girlfriend Yuki, she to tell you, <laughs> competitive, you know, and uh, you know, you gotta work hard and you gotta push up research and statistics and data all the time to, to get it out there. It's a stressful job. But this is why I'm not cutting corners, but I learn a lot of things from a lot of people. And that, and that all of that there helped me emphasize all that into one category and one, one passion, photography. So if you guys want to subscribe to this channel, you guys can do so. You guys want to support the channel financially. There's a PayPal, Cash App, and Remo. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the links to all these products, even with the, the athletics tape and the descriptions where I purchased it from. Uh, other than that, this is like a beauty. Yes, I'm using multiple cameras. I got a whole bunch of cameras and all that other stuff here in the background. The lights that I'm using are also in the description. These are the Veltrox RB08s. Uh, I'm not trying to be a fancy setup. I don't have time to set up a fancy studio again. I did that here doing live streams in the past, but you know, I'm, I'm a travel photographer. I'm gonna emphasize travel photography videos. I'm gonna show you how to not set up a studio and how you can easily set up a studio by just placing a light on the bed here, placing a light here on the bed, placing a light in the background, and you're good to go. But you can also place a light over overhead too, which I recommend. And I did a video on how to set up lighting for your YouTube studio. Check those out too, on my channel. But with that said everyone, this is Panda. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate your time, guys. Peace.